So as you can see, my hair is in two afro puffs. Rough and stuff with my afro puffs. Rage, rock on with your back. I can't dance. I'm just saying. My channel thanks so much for tuning back in for yet another video for today's video i'm going to be trying a new brand the name of the brand is called bask and bloom and i have seen this company for a very very long time but this is my first time actually purchasing anything from the company from their lawn and i've just kind of over time been seeing this company and this brand is growing and growing and growing so since i want to definitely support more black natural hair care companies i wanted to go ahead and give their products a try so i purchased two of their items of the items that they have i got a mask and i got a leave-in why i selected this particular brand and why i selected uh, these particular products is because of the ingredients that they have i really love using brands and, and products that really have great ingredients and you can read the ingredients and you can kind of have an idea of what the ingredients are and what they do for your hair you can easily look it up you can easily pronounce them and i just really love that they use ayurvedic ingredients in their products and that's something that i have been using a lot more in my natural hair care and in my natural hair routine it's a lot of ayurvedic uh, herbs and they are amazing for your hair they offer so many healthy hair benefits and that just really just got my eye so the fact that they have that in their products they've incorporated all of these great herbs and infused all these really great herbs in their products was definitely a winner for me so out of the products that they have I purchased two that I think would really benefit my hair so let me show you what I purchased so the first product I purchased from Baskin Bloom Essentials is their Brombe Root Hair Mask now this is a deep conditioning hair mask that claims to repair and restore your hair it includes Ayurvedic herbs to aid in strengthening, conditioning, and moisturizing. And it also promotes healthy hair growth, making the hair soft and easier to manage. Some of the key ingredients include instilled water, infused with Brahmi, burdock root, marshmallow root, yucca root, slippery almond horsetail, aloe vera juice, castor oil, raw honey, guar gum, and avocado oil. What stood out to me most about this product as to why I purchased it is because it has Ayurvedic herbs in it. In particular, Brahmi, which is high up on the ingredient list of this product. And the next item I purchased from Baskin Bloom is their Ease Leave-In Conditioner. This product claims to strengthen and protect your hair. This is a lightweight leave-in conditioner that's full of moisture and dissolves quickly without wearing your hair down. It's great when you pair it with a hair gel or a creamy styler of choice. It also contains an herbal infusion to aid in strengthening, protecting, and adding shine to your hair. Some of the key ingredients of this product include distilled water, which is infused with slippery M, orange peel, marshmallow root, hibiscus flour, aloe vera juice, avocado oil, flaxseed oil, castor oil, honeysuckle flower extract, horsetail, bamboo extract, and sea kelp extract. So what I'm going to do off camera is just wash my hair using a really great shampoo. And I was going to use the Giovanni, but... I just realized I just purchased a new shampoo from Uncle Funky's daughter that I want to try. I totally forgot about it because I got so much stuff, you know, on my shelf. But anyway, so what I got is their Squeaky Clarifying Cleanser. This is a sulfate-free and color-safe clarifying cleanser with tea tree, kelp, willow bark, and menthol. I have a little product in my hair, so this would be the perfect time to use this cleansing, um, clarifying cleanser. I also really like the fact that you get a lot of product for the money because these products are not cheap at all they do give you a generous amount so with the leave-in it comes in a 12 ounce as well as the mask also comes in 12 ounce containers but these products smell absolutely amazing they have like the best aroma smell scent fragrance i don't know i smell just a plethora of really great ingredients in both of these products let's go ahead and jump right onto this thing so without further ado let's get started so we are freshly washed and cleansed. So I have a section into two parts and we're just gonna make this quick and easy. Sort of section it just a little bit. Just start with a good amount first. This product is very thick and creamy and I like conditioners that are like that. So we'll start to apply. The initial application, it kind of feels like it's sitting on my hair but we'll work it in a little bit more just to see 
And of course the heat will make it penetrate a little bit more when I get up under my heat cap. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish applying this all over my hair very thoroughly. And then we're gonna move on to the leave-in conditioner. And then from there, we're just going to start styling. just to really soak and sink in so yeah it feels really good hair is super super soft I just didn't like the initial application because it felt like it was just sitting on my hair now to wash this out and we'll start with the leave-in conditioner we'll just start twisting from there how this is going to end up I don't know So I'm completely done with my hair so let me just share with you very quickly my thoughts and feelings on the products I got from Baskin Bloom starting with the hair mask so with the hair mask initially as I stated earlier it did not penetrate it did not absorb very well into my hair upon applying it to my hair so um, I feel like so I feel like with the mask if I just had to use it just alone without any heat it would have just sat on my hair. It never would have penetrated my hair. It was okay. Um, wasn't anything that really stood out, jumped out um, in terms of the performance of this product. It has a lot of Ayurvedic herbs in it, just some really great ingredients. So when I took my heat cap off, my hair was extremely soft and very moisturized and it just felt really, really great. So it does say that this is a deep treatment. So upon continuous use of the product, I guess I will start to see the benefits that it claims on this product, such as repairing and restoring your hair. Um, it did, like I said, feel conditioning. It did feel conditioning, um, as the product states. Um, other than that, that's pretty much all I, I felt um, with this mask. Now for the leave-in. This leave-in, um, uh, I'll just be honest. Um, the leave-in did not like my hair. Um, I felt like my hair kind of tensed up with this leave-in. Um, and some conditioners will do that to my hair. My hair will let me know if it does not like a product, it will tense my hair up. It was not penetrating, it was not absorbent, it was, it didn't even feel conditioning. It felt, it was very thick. Um, it was uh, heavier even more so than the mask. And I just don't think my hair liked that too well and until I added something a little bit more looser in consistency and that's when the gel came in and my hair seemed to like that and curl up better and it was definitely more manageable and softer at that point and I can get my fingers through, I can detangle and I could uh, style my hair a whole lot better. Now the claim of the leave-in as I stated earlier, it says that it's full of moisture and it dissolves quickly without weighing your hair down. Um, and it says it's lightweight. This is not lightweight. I don't know why it says it's, light. it's not lightweight. This is a heavy, thick um, leave-in. It's Like I said, it's thicker than the mask, and it definitely didn't dissolve quickly. I've seen other reviews of these products, and they're all great reviews from what I've seen, um, but to me, they're just, I don't want to say mediocre, um, because I'm pretty sure with continuous use, I will definitely, you know, get the benefits of what these products claim. So I'm not going to knock the brand or these products. Um, I'm still going to continue to use these products until I use them up. Will I repurchase them? No, but I would try something else from their line. 
uh, just to give them another fair shake. But nevertheless, if you enjoyed this video, if you enjoy watching me review and demo these products, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up because it does help my channel. Don't forget to comment. Don't forget to subscribe. Also, don't forget to check out my Amazon store. I'm sure you'll find some really great things in there that you'd like to purchase. Again, it's just Janine and I will see you on the next video. Bye guys.